Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. All right, so we're finding x here. I notice we've got 64, this nice number, but it's raised ew, to the scary-looking exponent, a fraction exponent and a third nonetheless, which is even scarier. So 64 to the third, what could this possibly mean? Well, does it mean divide by 3? Does it mean a third of 64? How do I think about it? Well, to play with this, let's multiply 64 to the one-third three times. 64 to the third times 64 to the third times 64 to the third. Now, if we did this, what would we get? Well, since the bases are the same, and we're multiplying, we still get the same base, and then we add our exponents. Right? This is a basic law of exponents, a third and a third and a third. And what is a third plus a third plus a third? That's 1. So here, 64 to the first is what we get, and that is just 64. And this tells us something very valuable, because here we've got a number and a number and a number. They're all the same number, right? They're all 64 to the third. And when we multiply that same number three times, we get 64. So the question is, what number times itself three times is 64? And if you guess around with it or play with it a little bit, start with like a number like 5 or 6, Right, five's too big, five times five times five is 125. We jump down to four and boom, we've got it, right? It's okay to bounce around and try different numbers if that's your technique, right? Four times four times four, that is 64. So that must mean that 64 to the one third is just four. What does that mean? Well, that means that here, x is, x is four is what it means. And also means that 64 to the one third represents what's called the cubed root or third root which we sometimes write like this, a little 3 in there, right? which basically means a number times itself, right? a number multiplied 3 times, a number multiplied 3 times right? to get 64 in this case, or whatever number you're looking for. And it's called the cube root sometimes, um, just as square root is the uh, side length of a square, perfect square. A uh, cube root is the side length of, or edge length, I guess you could say, of a cube. Right? If you have a cube with a volume, if this cube had a volume of 64, then the cube root would represent the length or dimensions here that give you that volume. And if you had a 4 by 4 by 4 cube, the volume would be 64. So the cube root does have meaning in terms of geometry as well. All right, hope this helped.